So I asked you guys last week if I should make this web shooter. And well, you guys said yes. So here it is. I made this web shooter out of just simple materials like cardboard. Well, if you're new to my channel and you want to keep updated, I consider you subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future uploads like this. I also included free downloadable templates down in the description. Without further ado, let's start and enjoy the video. I used white glue for this part so I have enough time to move the piece before it dries. Watch this video till the end so you could create your own classic silver Spider-Man web shooter. This piece of cardboard to get the glue evenly spread. Then I put books on top of it, then let it dry. Then cut this piece out of the template to make the barrel. I suggest to put a layer of super glue this part because the barrel is just made out of paper. It will make the barrel hard and strong. Then cut a thin corrugated cardboard and put punch a hole in it. If you have a hole puncher, it would be easy to make this. It would be easy to make a hole, but if you don't have a hole puncher, you can just cut it with a precision knife or just a pair of scissors. And again put lots of super glue in it. And I found this bamboo coffee stirrer at our house. This will be a barrier for the stuff lock later on. I'm just giving a little bend to the whole web shooter because I need it to fit in my wrist. And the, the web shooter is actually going to be round. I use shoe glue to this part, actually the barrel, so it would be strong. But you could also use super glue, so it won't break when you the spring later on. I suggest painting the barrel red first before doing it. So I forgot to film this part but what I did was I just glue some four small magnets there like this to close this part the web cartridge won't just fell out. Replace this part with craft foam because cereal box will break, will crack kind of. Then 
then spray it with a silver spray paint. Here it comes. So introducing a stop block. We're making it. I use a modified paper clip and thumb tack and the precision knife to make holes for this stop block. and the stop block so it will be smoother also don't forget to put lots of super glue on this stop block so it won't break easy then after that just insert this fishing line through the stop block then put a dab of super glue there after the glue dries sand a little bit of the fishing line to make the top smooth then just insert the fishing line through the modified pen spring just like this Then I just add magnets to this part so you could actually wear the web shooter. And I tied the end of the fishing line so when I tug the string, it will shoot. Just cut this piece from the template using a cereal box. Then I just put this to hide the corrugation of the cardboard. I made this part out of drum foam but you can also use some cereal box cardboard if you want. If you forgot to put the stop block and you already put the cover of it, just find the hole you made inside Then use a pair of scissors or tweezers would be nice if you have one and insert both of the fishing line there. But you could also do it by hand. If you could not put the two fishing line at the same time, then just put it one at a time. To insert the bullet, just pull this fishing line then push the bullet in and let go of the fishing line. To fire, just tug on the string like this. Then to secure the nut, just put a little bit of super glue there. And let's make and add the other detail pieces. I draw this detail using a pen or you could also use a marker if you want.
course I don't want this to just shoot bullets so I made a web cartridge to load the webs in. Then I painted it silver. Here's how you load the web cartridge. Just take your web string, then wrap it around the pencil, and stuff it all to the web cartridge, like this. Now for the making of the projectile. On the other end of the projectile, put up 6x3 neodymium magnet, then wrap it with this piece of paper, just like this. On the other side, beat the step but this time put a 5x3 neodymium magnet to the other side. Then coat this with super glue to harden it. The sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. Then I made this notch close to the 5x3 neodymium magnet. And I decided to sand the notch with the sandpaper to smoothen it. Then I glue a 8x8 by 8 by 50 compression spring to the projector and I glue and I glue the string of 5x3 neodymium magnet so it could stick to the projectile. These two are the only things you have to buy online, the spring and the magnet. Because without this, you can't make this web shooter. Comment down below if you want me to make a web shooter just like this with just pen springs and no magnets. Also comment down below if you like me talking in my videos or not. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, it would help this channel if you share this video, and subscribe for more future uploads like this. Thanks to those who, who's already subscribed to me, that means a lot, and yeah, thank you. stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a monoro recording.
also if you haven't seen my previous video check it out up here or down in the description below and also check out my other web shooters watching do leave a comment share and like this video Bye. subscribe